first lesson. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Brethren, is the above passage from, from the leader? I am only reminding you what was written. When you are asked not to fornicate, you grumble. Are you the one to tell Christ how to populate the world? The first and foremost important assignment is for me to join together a man and a woman for our Lord Jesus Christ. When you hear the statement, both shall become one flesh, it means the togetherness of a man and a woman is nothing until they are joined with Christ. The scripture says, he who has separated himself for Christ is very conscious of how to please God. That means he is all the time concerned how he can keep himself pure, both physically and spiritually. But he who is bound in marriage will all the time seek how to please his wife or the wife, how to please her husband, and is not conscious of how to please God. When you hear that you should marry one wife, you feel satisfied that you are committing fornication with your wife. Once you have been joined together and Christ being the bridegroom, at any time you touch your wife, you have committed adultery. Be ye reconciled with God. Brethren, there is no other way for you to reconcile with God except now that you have heard this gospel. The marriage blessing in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is not like those you witness in other church denomination because both of you are being joined for Christ. Can a blind lead the blind? To prove this, in all the worldly churches a man can marry ten wives, but whenever he is prepared to bless the marriage, he will take only one of the wives to the altar. The very fortunate woman on the other hand, will spread their marriage invitation to as many of her boyfriends as possible, who in turn would equally attend the, that wedding. From this, you see that both the husband and the wife, as seen at the altar, have set aside their other concubines just for that occasion. It is not so here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Since both of you are brought together for Christ, all acts of fornication and careless life must be forsaken. The married blessing in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star signifies the beginning, signifies the bringing together of a virgin girl with a virgin boy, so that Christ may take dominion over you and the glory of God be revealed in you. There is an adage that if urinating is not difficult, let the fowl try it. Because of this injunction, many couples turn to blame their wives as being the cause of non-blessing of their marriage. This is not so. The truth is because 
you have not yet forsaken the world. You will only go to register your marriage in court or buy drinks and pay marriage fee. That is all it is. It is Christ alone who rules over your physical and spiritual body, your home, your profession, and everything around you because you are an empty vessel. God's jealousy for a man. Brethren, I continue to tell you that the reason why you should forsake fornication and evil vices is because of the great jealousy I have for man. In order to erase death from you, it is said, He who defiles the body will be destroyed. Christ does not require your car or your house or your wealth or children or anything, but you, as an individual in perfection, therefore let us surrender ourselves to him when it is yet day, for the night is coming when no man can work. The love I have for you is that no one can live unto himself without Christ. Christ is divine and you are the branches. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson. First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 5. Defraud ye not one the other except it be with consent for a time that ye may yourselves that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. Brethren, this is the key. Both of you, husband and wife, must agree on how many days you have to undergo fasting before going into intimate act with your wife. But once you cannot fast thereafter, Satan gets in and you are tempted. It is for this reason that the scripture warns that it is more better for a man not to touch a woman, but in order to avoid adultery, a man should marry one wife, and the husband should not force the wife, neither should the wife refuse her husband against his wish, but both to get together by mutual agreement and only for a short period. Therefore, thereafter, they must fast and pray. It is this ignorance that brings death and suffering. And Adaj says, What tastes delicious in the mouth of a sick person that must he eat and die? If you get into the act often, and without the consent of each other, you have committed adultery. Just as whenever you continue eating when you are full, it is regarded as lust of the flesh, and you may become sick. So it is that what? That whenever you go near the woman, you have defiled the house, and unless you fast and pray fervently, in order to keep the house clean, you have driven Christ away from your body. Significance of weekly fasting. Brethren, many people do not know why weekly fasting is being observed here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. This is because you continue in sinfulness all the time by committing fornication and adultery. Because of this, you must fast and pray in order to be cleansed. You are aware that our Lord Jesus Christ fasted only once. That was when he was being prepared for his father to carry out his various ministries on earth. You have never heard that he fasted again after the 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. Therefore, to prove this truth, 
Stay away from a woman for a period of time and you will realize that all the loss of this world, the anger, the fornication, lying, tricks, malice, drunkenness, smoking, arrogance and pride with all other vice, vices in man will vanish from you. But at any time you touch a woman and defy the temple of God, which is your body, all those sinful thoughts and actions will fill your body once more. To put this to test further, if bed bugs harbor inside your chair and you use hot water with a disinfectant in order to destroy them, they cannot die because once the water becomes cold, this pest will feed on you whenever you sit back on those chairs. But in order to exterminate them completely, you must abandon the chairs outside for a season. So when they have nothing to feed on, they will die. Brethren, so it is that these worldly lusts are controlled by the Spirit being deposited in the body and if you do not feed it with the right food, it cannot operate. It is said, it is sad to hear many people saying, Oh, Christ had already fasted. How can you succeed in whatever you do without fasting? You are told that our Lord Jesus Christ fasted in order to achieve his assignment. At the time John the Baptist came, he never ate nor drank anything except locust beans and honey. This was also to prepare him for a specific assignment. It is so with every individual. You have to be prepared for a special duty while in the world. Thereby you become a bride for Christ so that God takes control over your body and works. Read the golden text once again. Golden text Ephesians chapter 5 verse 33. Nevertheless let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Brethren, have you heard this instruction that every man should love his wife as himself and let the wife respect and honor her husband? In whatever you do, see that it does not bring anger to your wife. Since you would not like your wife to fornicate with another man, do not fornicate with other women. If you cannot remain hungry for a while, do not punish your wife by keeping her without food and proper care all the time. If you would not like to be abused and disgraced, do not curse and disgrace your wife, since you cannot joke with your own parents, do not joke with your parents-in-law. He who does not love his wife does not love, does not love himself. This is an injunction from God. Since both of you have been joined together with Christ, it is binding that whatever your wife says, the clothes she put on, the spoons, the plates, the cups which she uses, her ears and eyes, the hands and legs, all parts of her body and everything about both of you must be one. The reason why you are being joined together in marriage is to rebuild the broken house as one. Love covers multitudes of sins. As such, 
When you love your wife, you cannot beat her. You cannot tell her lies or abuse and disgrace her. The role of a woman in marriage. Brethren, and on the other hand, the woman must honor and reverence her husband in whatever he says. Your answer must be yes. You must address him as my Lord. Whenever your husband speaks, you cannot look straight into his face and must carry out his instructions without argument. In this new kingdom, it is an insult for a wife to exchange words with her husband no matter the measure of the incident at the time she should not at any moment of her life speak ill of her husband the statement love everyone honor honor all men and reverence god refers to the respect a wife should give to the husband and as an injunction from god a wife should not commit any type of sin she should not be touched by any other man except her husband. A wife's duty is the general care over her husband, looking after his meals. Whenever he goes out for work, she feels satisfied that his clothing is in order. In short, every necessary care over the man and his home a wife should not have any choice of her own in whatever she does except that which is approved by her husband both families must be one that is the parents in law both of you must maintain one common purse and remain in mutual love because Christ is the head of the family. Brethren, one stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.